city where one person has been killed. We're going to cross now to my colleague Hasina Gori. Thanks very much for joining us, Hasina. Obviously a very sad day indeed. Uh, what's happening right where you are now? Talk. Good afternoon. We are currently uh, seeing live scenes coming from uh, Bromfontein where earlier today one person was allegedly shot by uh, police officers here on the street. What we do know is that protesting students were protesting on uh, the uh, main road against financial exclusion and uh, when one of the groups dispersed into the adjoining streets, what then occurred is that police opened fire on a group of people that were standing outside a clinic in uh, Bramfontein. It's alleged that one person was shot by police. According to eyewitnesses that we've spoken to, this was not a protesting student or a student of any university. It's alleged that um, he was a resident of the area who had been walking out of the clinic when police opened fire. According to some of the eyewitnesses that we spoke to, this person was shot twice, one in the chest and then once in the face. The scenes we're seeing right now are pro with students from uh, the EFF as well as ANC who have taken to the streets. They call this area now a, a morning a site. What we saw was a police in Yala coming into the area. This is after we saw most police officers retreating from the area earlier on when the scene was quite a tent. Right now, these students are also making the police in Yala retreat once again from the area. So far, we yet to get any confirmation from police as well as the university, both saying they're still gathering information and will come back uh, to us once they have clarity on what exactly uh, took place. What we do know is that the protest action began as early as last week, a Thursday, at the university with students demanding that the university register uh, uh, students even if they had historical debt. They're calling on students who have less than 120,000 rand in historical debt to be allowed to register. What we do know is that with university students, there are about 8,000 that still need uh, to be registered. Um, we heard from the university yesterday saying that if they did um, register all those that had historical debt and wrote out their debt, they will not be financially viable. Right now, the situation is quite uh, calm, a lot calmer than earlier um, scenes that we saw. And this is an ongoing story, and we will keep you updated as and when it happens. Back to you in studio. Thanks very much. My colleague there, Hasina Gori, uh, reporting outside Vitz University.